Praise God. Watoto, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I'm your pastor Evan Kerubo. I'm born again. I've really missed you, but still I'm praying for you. I'm here this uh, the second Sunday after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Our Jesus is not in the tomb, he's alive. So this is uh, another Sunday we are talking what happened after Jesus resurrected. He stayed. He appeared to different people. He appeared and even to his uh, disciples who were more than 500. Then later, what happened? He ascended. After 40 days, he stayed in the world after resurrection. Then he ascended to, into heaven. He did not leave us alone. He sent the Holy Spirit to be our comforter. So I'm here to comfort you and encourage you that even in this, this COVID-19, uh, you are not alone. Our God is with us even in this situation. So allow me to usher in our brother, Samuirigi, to read the word of God to us. Praise the Lord, children. It's another time now that you are meeting on the screen. I want to greet everybody. Where is Joy class? Where is Unity class? Where is Praise class? Where is the Angel class? Good. Today's reading, it comes from the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 50 to 53. And I will read. Then he led them out of the city as far as Bethany, where he raised his hands and blessed them. As he was blessing them, he departed from them and was taken up into heaven. They worshipped him and went back to Jerusalem, filled with great joy, and spent all their time in the temple giving thanks to God. That's the word of God. It was time for Jesus to go to heaven. He led his disciples to the top of a mountain near Jerusalem. Here's what I want you to do, he said. Wait 
abide in Jerusalem until you receive the promised Holy Spirit. Then tell everyone about me. Go from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria and then to the rest of the world. Make many disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach them everything you learn from me. I will always be with you. When he had said this, Jesus rose into the sky. Up he went until he disappeared into a cloud. His disciples watched him. They stood there, staring into the sky. Two men dressed in white appeared. Jesus has gone to heaven, they explained. He will come back in the same way. So the disciples obeyed Jesus and went to Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, children. Praise the Lord. Uh, today, we are learning about the accession of Jesus Christ to heaven. Accession of the accession of Jesus Christ to heaven. From the book we have read, we have seen that Jesus gathered his disciples and he was taken up into the air and went up into heaven. This was after he had been with his disciples for 40 days. He met all the disciples. He met Thomas, who didn't believe that Jesus Christ died and rose again. He had to show Thomas his hands, the scars, so that Thomas can uh, understand that this is the same Jesus who died on the cross. Then he met with Simon Peter. You remember Simon Peter? What did Simon Peter do? Simon Peter denied Jesus when he was about to be crucified. He met with him and he saw that, yeah, this is our Jesus. He's the same person who was crucified. And he rose again. So he went to see the women. You remember the women who went to the tomb? Who are they? They were Mary Magdalene, Mary, mother of Jesus. And from there, now they are gathered in a place called Bethany. And that is the place where Jesus was taken to heaven. But Jesus did not leave us alone. He left us with the Holy Spirit. Now, when Jesus went to heaven, the Holy Spirit is with us. And the Holy Spirit is in our hearts. Is the Holy Spirit that when we pray to Jesus, answers our prayers through Holy Spirit. And this, this Holy Spirit, when we are in problems, it is this Holy Spirit who rescues us from our problems. For example, this time we are in this pandemic of coronavirus. This Holy Spirit is with us and is guiding us is with us in everything that we are doing and is going to see us through. We are not going to be sick. No one of us is going to die. Our lives will come back to normal because Jesus, just as he defeated death, is going to defeat this coronavirus pandemic. Now, children, as you stay at home, you remember that our Jesus, who died on the cross, he rose again and he ascended into heaven. And when he was going to heaven, 
He's saying that he's going to prepare a place for all of us. All of us. All the children, all the people, all the parents, everybody in heaven. And that is where all of us, when our time on this earth is over, that is where we shall go to be with this Jesus. Praise the Lord, children. Praise the Lord. Okay, now children, let me invite Sami so that he can also share to us. You know, our children are very talented. They also know how to preach. Last Sunday and on Good Friday, we had some children preaching. And today, we have Sami preaching to us. Welcome, Sami. Let us pray for the word. Dear Lord, I thank you for this wonderful morning. I humbly pray that you may guide me as I deliver your word to my peers. May you renew my strength and give them divine understanding. It is in Jesus' name I do pray and believe. Amen. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the clergy, the church leadership, and the JCTM teachers for giving me this opportunity to speak God's word to my peers. My name is Samuel Karenga Njage. I'm born again and I'm happy to be in the presence of the Lord this day. I welcome you all to this Sunday service and the topic today is Ascension. Ascension is the period which Jesus was taken up to heaven. This event occurred on Mount Olives on the 40th day after his resurrection. Let me take you back to the death of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was crucified on, Mount, on Calvary, which means the place of skull, alongside two criminals. He was mocked, beaten, and put a crown of thorns, but he never talked like a sheep in the slaughterhouse. This, signifies, this signifies Christ's great love for us, for he was willing to die on the cross for our sake. In this way, we should all call upon God upon, during this time of coronavirus pandemic that he may be with us, guide us during our time of trouble because most of us are facing financial, financial crisis and some students in, are not in school. So we should also remember to seek God during this time. And I would also like to give you a word of encouragement from the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 which says, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened for you. May we all call upon God and seek him so that he may help us overcome this pandemic. My peers, I will also like to encourage you to be sure and steady fast in Christ and that you may have faith because no weapon formed against us shall proper, prosper as according to Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17. I would also like to encourage you with Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to bring you prosperity and not disaster, plans to bring you about the future you hope for. The next event was his death, and still death did not shake our Christ. As Christ, he... He rose again on the third day. As Christians, this gives us hope because it assures us of life after death. We can then come to ascension. He returned to heaven after dying for the cross to save us from sin. He is, he is in heaven with God until God decides to send him back to us for the final judgment. Today's Bible verse comes from the Gospel book of Luke, chapter 24, verse 50 to 53. And it says, And he led them out as far as Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. Now it came to pass, while he blessed them, that he had parted from them and carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple praising and blessing God. Amen. And this verse explains the occurring during the ascension, as Jesus was giving them instructions and in giving them hope and encouraging them. 
in Acts chapter 1 verse 8 which says Jesus, which says Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the Father the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all things that I have I have commanded you and lo I am and no I am with you always even to the end of the age amen so it is our solemn duty to spread the word of god and to preach it to other christians to in order to fulfill the great commission that and this word also encourages us that we should not stop worshiping god and we should not let this pandemic weaken our faith as we conclude remember to wash your hands self quarantine and sanitize your hands wherever water and soap is not available let us conclude with a prayer dear lord we come before you lord father exalting your name and raising your name up high lord we come to ask you lord father that you may help us to spread this word that you have learned today to the other believers lord and that you may protect us during this pandemic called coronavirus may you be with us and may you guide us spiritually and it is in Jesus name we do pray and believe amen hallelujah thank you thank you thank you sami thank you for the blessing blessing word we thank you praise the lord the children of god we are grand for this wonderful day we are happy for what the word that our 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 dear sami has given us thank you sami moel let continue preaching the word of god because the word of god is the only the key thank you for this wonderful hour i'm teacher dorin i'm saved i love the lord as my personal savior thank you for this day god has given us we are we know that we are in our houses we are waiting upon the lord and god say that he go to heaven and he left the holy spirit of god with us to help us in this time even in this time of this virus corona virus jesus left the holy spirit he is helping us in everything so when we pray holy spirit intercede for us even this time you are at home with your mother with your dad with your brother with your sister we are still in prayers because the holy spirit of god is interceding for us thank you the children thank you for this new day we thank you because god is still with us even though we are at home jesus is there because the holy spirit we cannot see the holy spirit but the holy spirit of god is there with us so we thank god for this new sunday we thank god for this service we thank god for everything can we pray the children of god father in the name of jesus i thank you for the children you have given us in this house of prayer thank you lord of mercy for hearing your word thank you lord for sami for giving a more oil my father to preach your word we thank you jehovah as we bless our children at home god bless them lift them make them the children you wanted them to be we thank you jehovah protect them from this virus oh jehovah god cover them jehovah god because you are faithful and you are wonderful in jesus mighty name we do pray and give thanks amen praise god praise god again my name is victoria karimi from maraka methodist church i want to say that you remember that there is a, the death of jesus jesus died because of our sins and we should remember the day that god resurrected and please people would you repent your sins because people are saying that it's the end of the world but we will keep on repenting our sins because god god knows that we are his people and we are we are God, we are going to repent our sins and God will forgive us thank you
Hello, good morning. Welcome to uh, again after you've listened to Uncle Julius, your Sunday school teacher, he has explained to you the lesson today. And the Lord is telling us to depend on him even the more. Now parents and children, kindly ensure that you print out the lesson and those who are doing preschool, give them their coloring page so they can be able to color. And, and be careful to ensure that you're doing it together. Just like the way you see me with these two, Dumbo and Didi here. We are together. I'm asking you nicely, print out the lesson. And after you've printed out the lesson, kindly ensure that you do the activity. If it's a crossword puzzle, do the crossword puzzle. If it is uh, joining the dots, join the dot. And if there is a craft and, and, and you're able to do it, please cut out the craft and do the craft and make sure you stick it in your room so that you can remember what you're supposed to do. And children, um, you have been away from church for so long and you have not come to church for a long, long time and you have not given money for God. Now, when you want to give money for God, yes, you can give money for God. You can ask your parent to show you how you can use m -Pesa, and you can go to the church pay bill number and you give money for God with using the number 825770. I will repeat again, and Didi is going to help you say it. You're going to pay to the pay bill number 825770. 825770. Uh, Please, or ask your, you can pay through the pay bill number, or ask your dad or mom how you can use his or her phone to give money for God. Because several Sundays you've not come, and you have to, it's good to give money for God, just like you give every Sunday. Ask them to give you through the pay bill number, or they can help you pay your money for God through the, the, the bank account number, which is 010211-0013200. Ask your parent to help you. Let us pray with thanksgiving that he has given us good health, he has given us life, and we have worshipped him through giving uh, for, for uh, his money for God, and he has blessed the work of our hands that he's continually supporting us, even when we have lockdown and minimal activity. And Father, that he'll continue blessing you even the more. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we approach your holy throne in thanksgiving. Father, we pray that you continue providing for us. You bless us when we come in and when you come out. You cover us with your presence, that you'll protect us from the, 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 the disease which is around us, COVID-19, that none of us will get sick. And Father, you provide for us in both ordinary, extraordinary and miraculous ways that you will meet us at our point of need. You will, exp you will take care of us, you will take care of our parents, you will take care of our relatives. And Father, we pray that this disease comes to an end as quickly as possible. We have heard the cases are increasing, but Father, even those who get infected, let them be healed and be healed completely. Let your goodness come upon the whole land of nation, Kenya. Let the young people be blessed that they don't fail and they increase in everything. This we pray, believing and trusting in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And everybody say, Amen. May you be blessed as you listen to the coming song. Thank you.